Hello, hello, who in the monster? Who reviews? And they are reviewing the Doctor Who the twentieth season collecting box set. And yeah, this is the second season for Peter Davison's Doctor on an anniversary season, and I think it's a a few good episodes. And then has uh, and has it doesn't matter if you have that some extra stuff. And like usual, it just says on the back of the box here. And uh, yes, let's see this. Oh, it's on. Yeah, in the cover, you do use a scene from a uh, snake dance when the doctor has the crystal on down here. Just the villains like uh, I don't I don't know it's the Dardic uh, a Dardic from uh, my doctors or what but back here you see uh, the TARDIS and I think might be a uh, wrestling from five doctors but I don't know um just open it up and uh, here you see the my doctors with some of their companions. Oh my god, you're always the object to add a one day version of the console room. I don't know. I remember with that episode that this is supposed to be from. But I think it's still was good. And you get this, uh, a booklet as usual, and it has uh, the fifth doctor with uh, Nissa Tegan and Turlo, and it uh, has just uh, the three companion actors' uh, pictures, like in the others, no, uh, no fifth doctor for some reason. Hmm. And there's another booklet that has uh, some uh, Doctor Who products advertising in it. And now for the episode or the uh, stories. First is uh, the Ark of Infinity with so the uh, Omega with the Fifth Doctor. Yeah, don't you like the mask? And I think the one from Tree Doctors is a bit better, even though it looks like goofy. And uh, next is a snake dance, it's on a Tegan, I think, with the Mara. Yeah. And uh, the next one is the start of the Black Guardian arc. Uh, the, uh, the, episode, the story is called uh, The Mord Mordred Undead, and this is how the Turlo with the Tank Mordred or this one of the characters. Yeah, I can't remember the names of all the uh, side characters in the story, but hmm. Um, next is uh, uh, let's see, a Terminus, I think. With the Nissa and her character, and that was uh, last episode, and I still don't know why they had her uh, take off her skirt in order so she has a fever. Ugh, don't know. And the last part of the Black Guardian arc Enlightenment with the Nissa and the Fifth Doctor being in the Surrounded by uh, some celestials, I think. Yeah, I almost stepped on in like a, a, two years or something. Can't remember the last time. And the king's demon is a uh, Max, and so, so the master with the chameleon. Yeah. Yeah, and I think you understand why they didn't use a chameleon. That was after this episode since Gaida 
There's only one that can operate with died. So. And then next is the five doctors. This one is the original version song to fit doctor with a uh, Perusa. And is a evil gear and the crown of Rathalon. Yeah, there's three versions of the five doctors in this and the this one I'm about to show is the fortieth anniversary version. This was the kind of robot destroying the Cyberman. And uh, next, it is this special edition with Soul the TARDIS. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't put like an image of all five Doctors in one, in one of the, um, on one of the discs. Would that make more sense? And like other box that and so the Doctor's face. Like there are a few good, good episodes in this, and yeah, I think the fourth anniversary is okay. Uh, the anniversary version of the Five Doctors is okay. Like some special effects are cool, but the way they show the 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 pyramid things that take the Doctor in kinds of way, I think it was just done better in the special edition, and they actually cut the the little cuts. To some scenes in it, but maybe that's in the, the original version since I haven't re only, I only watched the a special edition, so hmm. And the uh, turn and the uh, sneak dance and Arc Infinity do have updated effects as well, so I think that's what I think. Uh, sneak dance is a, a good episode. And uh, what else? Um, yeah, there was a few special features. The documentary on the uh, de how the five doctors were uh, made, and also a did say the special feature that talked about the references in five doctors and what that story. From and just celebrating the 20th anniversary of that. And last is there's the two the two special features so the uh, Peter Davison and the people that play the companions they go to the Doctor Who convention called the Time Lash in Germany. So basically it's a holiday video I think, but hmm. Um anyone want to see other special features? I'm guessing kind of good uh, like always I do uh, hope that they uh, bring out the certain uh, scenes maybe a uh, season as uh, uh, seven for the third doctor season 14 for the fourth season 25 for the seven since I'm like that's like my favorite season of the seven doctor since it has a uh, uh, some some Good episodes. Like, I I do think that Simon Nemesis is good, even though other people don't, but yeah, that's my opinion. And uh, I do hope that at some point to do uh, bring out another scene for either the first or even the second Doctor. Uh, maybe if they find uh, the Highlanders, they can. Have a complete scene four, or at uh, the space pirates of complete season six. <sighs> Who knows? I am on uh, Sunday, the twenty fourth of September. They release a uh, full trade uh, official trailer of the Doctor Who sixth anniversary. Yep. I think it was a good and I do see in uh, I do like it I've seen a, a a beep to meep. I don't know if that's the actual character but that's what people are calling them. And I am glad they that they confirmed on the BBC and Doctor Who's uh, Twitter that uh, Neil Patrick Harris is playing the Celestial Toy Maker. 
Yeah, now I would say one of the done an anime recreation of the of the story just to celebrate getting the character back, but yeah, don't know. And uh, yeah, I also heard it's gonna be a character and it's got just gonna fix uh, uh Donna's uh, memory loss. So she won't so she have the uh, the memories of the doctor and uh to be alive. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. Like I know uh, there's a part of one of the episodes where the doctor says that he doesn't know if he can uh save Donna, maybe um but maybe will, but I think the end that Rusty Davis gave uh Donna back in this the uh, during its end is good and so on that there isn't always a happy ending. I don't think it need, oh, you need uh, like uh, a happy end to a story. Sometimes a tragic end can be good. And it's, that's just something that uh, people from that that are that were around during the doc, the modern Doctor Who uh, Golden Age remember about uh season four and that. Uh, but I do hope that the three specials are good. And I hope that the air dates uh, come out soon. Um, maybe it could be a weekly thing or or something. But don't know. And uh, yeah, like I said, I hope we get hope they bring out uh, more seasons and uh, next year. I did I dust this off uh, with seasons I would like. Oh, it's season nine for uh, the third doctor. I think that that'd be good as well, since that'd be the first season for uh, the Sarah, Sarah Jane. So could be could be a celebrate a uh, little Slayton bit, or just in honor of Slayton's uh, departure. Uh, don't know. I mean, yeah, that's it. Yeah, later.